Hi everyone, it's Paul from This Design Nerd. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your AnyCubic extruder. This is a really quick and easy upgrade and I think it gives you the best bang for buck for any sort of upgrade that you're going to make to your i3 Mega. Now this upgrade is really only relevant to the original Mega model. If you've got the S or the Pro, you do get the upgraded extruder. Now there are two types of extruder upgrades that you can add to your Mega. The Mega S comes with a single geared extruder. This essentially just adds torque to the extruder and it allows to push flexible filaments through it. It does only have one gear that is actually making contact with the filament. The other upgrade is a dual geared extruder and this is what you find on the Mega Pro model. This has two gears so it's making contact on either side of the filament to push it through and basically you just get more grip and it's also geared so you get the increased torque as well. Now I did a one year review of this printer and in that I said it was a really good printer, I was really happy with it. I still stand by that, I think it's a really excellent printer. It has printed everything I have thrown at it but there's always one niggle that I've had with this printer and that is that when I've got a model with a lot of retracts so it's moving the filament in and out through the extruder a lot of times. Basically, because you've only got that single gear making contact with the filament, it just gets eaten up over time and that is usually what causes a failed print. And this is exactly what happened to me this week when I was trying to print my ball bearing baron, which you can see a video for up here. Basically, it's got this circular pattern in the middle and it uses a lot of retracts. And that's what you can see in this little clip here. You can see that the filament, it's just been chewed up by the extruder. So I did some research and yeah, I found that you can get a extruder for this mega model. And this costs, I think it was 19 or 18 pounds from Amazon. This is a dual drive extruder. There are lots of clones um, that are available. You can get them on AliExpress, you can get them on Amazon. They're all, they're all the same in terms of, of how they work. Basically, you just want something that's got a, a dual gear drive. So it's clamping that filament from either side. To install it is very easy. And this is why I love this upgrade. It's because it is so beginner friendly. There are many upgrades you can make to your printer. You know, you can do things like changing the control boards. You can you know, change the fans to make it quieter. But those upgrades, they don't really improve the printing quality. And this is something that is so quick, so easy, so cheap, and it gives you kind of an immediate increase in print quality, which is really all I'm bothered about. So all you need to do is you just need to remove the two screws, take off the old extruder. If you've bought the dual drive extruder that I've got, you will need to use the motor. So you need to take off the sprocket that is on the motor shaft, and then you put on the sprocket that is included with this extruder, replace the power, and that is really about it. This took me about five minutes to install. Now, one important thing that you're gonna to need to do is you are gonna to need to reverse the motor. There are two ways that you can do that. You can either do it in the firmware or you can do it manually and actually swap over two wires in the stepper motor. I will include a video that tells you how to do this. I'm not gonna go into detail to do it. It is really easy. Do not be scared by doing this. Just make sure the power's off the computer. You just need to swap around two wires. That is literally it. So the most important thing, does it actually improve the print? Well, yes, it does. You can see that this is the fouled print with the, uh, with the retracts around the middle here. And this is the print that I got after putting in this extruder. I did not change any print settings at all. The only thing that has changed is the extruder. So this is brilliant. I think really this is kind of fixed. The only major issue that I've got with the printer, I know some people say that it is loud. Yeah, it is loud, but I've got it up in my spare room when it's printing. It doesn't really bother me that much. I might think about changing some of the fans. Um, you can put some heat sinks and fans on this extruder motor, which it does get pretty hot, which then obviously does heat up the, uh, the filament which isn't good. So I think this is probably the best upgrade for the original Mega model. It's cheap, it's quick to install, and it really does improve print quality. So that's about it. Hopefully you found it useful. If you've got any upgrade suggestions to make to the, to the Mega, um, I'm all ears. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll try and answer as many as I can. But that is it for now. I will catch you all later.